Right, now this is a, a two-part card really, so I think it would be a good idea to start with the letterbox kit. Um, and one, obviously the letterbox kit, you can write anything you like and anywhere you like. Now the thing about the letterbox kit is that the, uh, as I said earlier, it comes in two cases with these clever boxes. So what I've done, just to speed up the process here is, I've already mounted my boxes and, and I've decided what I want to say in my card. So I've got a really good friend and her name is Melanie and I would like to make this card for Melanie. So. The first thing I need to decide is where am I going to position it and how can I get her name in the right place. So I just want to put this clarity card to one side. Now notice that I handle it with care because if I put my thumbs, my shreddy thumbs all over it, then I'm going to get marks. So I just put that to the side for one minute and I'm going to take a piece of copy paper and I'm going to fold it in half like so. So it's exactly the same size as was or is the clarity card. Now I can f figure out with my pencil, remember I said get a pencil, um, what I want to write and wh the best way to do it. Now if I write for example four and then I'm going to write Melanie, right, this is what I want to do, I want to put this across the top. Now I want to get that in the centre and I'm going to put that off there. So looking at my boxes I've got a three, a two and a one. So I think I'll use my three here for FOR now let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got seven letters. So my calculation tells me this. I'm going to do a three there and then add a two there and add a two there. And that way I'll get it in the center. Right. That's the theory. So let's see how we go. So I'll put that to the side and I'll take my clarity card. Now bear in mind this is beautiful coated stock. But because it's coated, whilst it looks fantastic, it also means that you can slide around on it, so go easy. Uh, let's have a look. We're going to start with four. And I'm just going to put... Let me get my glasses on. Oh, I always think that helps. So what we're going to do is put the boxes in place, and when we've, done, when we've put the boxes and we've got the letters in the right place, then we're going to fill the boxes. So that's four. And then I need this one. Remember I said... L A N. We're going to put this in the middle. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it in what I consider to be the centre. There we go. So that's about right. And then when I've done that, I'll, I'll just clear that off, right, and put that to one side. And then I'm going to take my my two tiles, my double tile, and I'm going to add this to this side. There we go. So that's. M-E-L-A-N, and now I need the I-E at the other end. So I'm just going to lean over there and add my I-E. So I've got Melanie 4, for Melanie. Super cool. Now this is wet, so what I want to do is take my, my copy paper and just blot it. This can be my blotter and my scrap, so I can see what I'm doing there. I always think it's a good idea to write down exactly what it is you want to say, look how wet that still is, look. I think it's a good idea to write down exactly what you want to say just to ensure that the spelling is correct. Now to speed up the process what I did was I already took my letters and I mounted them all on individual there you see makes it a lot easier and neater doesn't it. And what my job now is to go through tile by tile and fill them with the right letters. Now, let's just take a look at how I've mounted these letters. If you look through here, then you can see that I've mounted them towards the bottom of the mount. These are old and loved. These are my old favourites. I've used these many, many times. But what I want to show you is... This way, if you mount it at the bottom, you can look through here and you can see exactly where you're positioning it, you see. So I'll start at the very beginning because it's a very good place to start. And um, watch what I do. When I put the F in, I'm going to give it a little wiggle like that. And that way it ensures that I pick up every single part of the letter. Let's just see that. There we are. Easy peasy. And then we'll just 
put the F back in the box because it's done its job. Then I'll take, I'll go, go with the next letter, O. Now, to save myself leaning, uh, what I want to do is just take a piece of copy paper. Here we are, look. Let's just take a clean piece of copy paper so that I don't get marks all over my work. And then I can lean on that comfortably, you see. So position your O, ink it up, position it, and then give a little wiggle. Blot it, put it back in the box. You'll notice that what I'm not doing, um, I, I don't want to um, get into cleaning and spelling at the same time. I don't think that's going to work too well. So I'm just dabbing it, putting it in the box, and I'll sort out the cleaning after I've done my project. I'm sure you will concur with me on that one. Right, four, and now we're going to go with Melanie. So you just hover with the handle, give a little wiggle, perfect. Blot it, put it in the box. Now one of the things that I, I wanted to say, and um, I think this is important, um, is that you, it's a good idea to keep your letter box or your kit in a box like this. And then that way you're, you won't, oh, I need that E again. You won't, um, you won't lose any of the letters. Now, should you lose a letter? Because there's nothing worse, is there? Then you've got a whole alphabet and then you've missed the, you've lost the I, you've washed the I down the sink, for example. Then what we want you to do is send us a stamped addressed envelope and just a request for the letter that you've lost and we promise that we will replace it free of charge. Okay, it's not a problem. Now, um, Mela, we're going to put the E at the end as well. So we'll just do that. There we are. And then we need an I. I should have really, I should start from left to right rather than juggling around from one to the other. So we've got Mela and then Ni. This is lovely. So here we go. In we go, like that. Don't press too hard. Give a little wiggle, blot it. Then take your eye. In we go. Give a little wiggle. Perfect. There. Do you know what? I quite like this as well. Look, all random. Nice. Okay. I digress. So we've got four Melanie now, and I think we can we can blot that just to make sure that it's dry. All good. There. Now, let's just take a look at that, and you can see it's right in the centre, looking good, and uh, needs to just sit for a while and rest. So we'll avoid that for a little while, and we'll concentrate on the bottom of the picture.